Good morning, I'm Sharad Kutin and welcome to BFM's Morning Headlines. It's the 14th of April and it's a Monday. Monday is always the start of a new week. Uh, and it's also the end of last week because the weekend had a world exclusive by NST. But oh, NST, oh, NST, got the name of the co-pilot wrong. And what it becomes of a world exclusive when everybody denies the story. So I don't know, are we running out of stories when it comes to MH370? Mm, perhaps. Uh, but still, it dominates the headlines. Brita Harian. Kota Hita Mile Eshapa, who owns the black box when it's in fact discovered or found? Uh, we don't know, and negotiations are on for that. Also, New Straits Times has that story, and so does Haryan Metro, right there in the corner. It's still an important story. Maybe not as important as this woman with the crick in her neck. Uh, it's been a long time since we looked at women and neck problems. But MH370 does continue to dominate. Another story, of course, is the question of masks, the national air carrier, and whether it is going to suffer irreparable damage from this uh, debacle. There you have an opinion piece in NST. It's also the subject of this morning's CNN uh, story on MH370. CNN, of course, has had its ratings go through this roof because of its coverage of MH370, and they too are loath to end uh, coverage, the wall to wall coverage that they, they've been having uh, for the last couple of weeks. So, a lot of media organizations exploiting the MH370 uh, debacle for their own purposes. Malay Mail has a story on Pakatan Riot, Pakatan Riot there. Um, muddling erupts, I don't think it's muddling, it's actually mudslinging, they can't get their England right, but never mind. Muddling, they muddle their way through their England. So muddling erupts as fight for PKR number two post heats up. The big debate apparently is whether PKR is a Malay-based party or a multiracial party. Asmin Ali says it's multiracial. Saifuddin Nasution says it's Malay based. Now, what does that really mean? Are the distinctions too subtle for the rest of us, or is it in fact important? Before we go on with the rest of the stories of the day, I want you to subscribe to BFM's video channel on YouTube. That's VDO. I try to do that in MTV style because I failed miserably. But you know what I mean. Kupas and Bantara, as well as BFN's Morning Headlines and a host of other programs available. If you subscribe, you'll get notice of it and uh, you'll be the happiest person on planet Earth. Other things uh, being discussed in PKR as they fight for the top post. This is it. Uh, the Mantri Basav Slango saying he is not a yes man. Of course, he's... Uh, the question is, who is he not a yes man to? And it's because Anwar Ibrahim. So he's saying he's own man, and that's why he should be voted into the top leadership of the party. There you have that. Another issue that's troubling the Pakatan riot, and uh, Utusan, of course, is happy to play that up, is the question of Hudud. Hudud. Hudud pasta berganja, which means they are not going to step back despite criticisms coming from their partners in Pakatan Rayad who say no, Hudud is not part of the common platform that they agreed on. Why is the government of uh, Klantan, which is past led, pushing for Hudud? Is it going to be the straw that breaks the Pakatan Rayad back? Well, we don't know, but that's something I guess Utusan is hoping for. And the star has this, Treasure Island. Treasure Island. Well, yes, it's about uh, possible treasures lost from the Malacca Sultanate. I don't know, uh, a bit of distraction from all the bad news we've been having. Their beautiful picture of the beaches, of blue skies, Treasure Island, of course, you know, uh, recalling that famous uh, novel. Uh, but uh, is that a real story? Well, I don't know. The star obviously thinks so. That's actually the real treasure of Malaysia. It's multicultural, multi-religious, and multi-multi character. I say that multi-melting pot character. Wonderful picture there on the front page of the NST. A boy with saffron on his head. That's all I have for you this morning. But before I leave, there is the phrase of the day. And the phrase of the day comes from this headline story. Mile Siapa. Mile Siapa. Who owns it? I'm not talking about the black box. I think the more important question is, who owns the economy of Malaysia? But that's a story for another day. I'm Sharad Kutin on BFM's Morning Headlines, BFM 89.9. .9.